Hello everyone and welcome to the Weekly Stitch. I'm Amy Nicole and I'm coming to you from my studio in gray and gloomy South Texas. So excited to be here again with you guys this week and share what's been going on in the studio. I finished my Kila tanks, which I'm super, super excited about and I immediately want to make like five more. These are going to be so versatile in my summer wardrobe and I want one in every color. Um, I cannot afford the fabric in every color uh, right now, but I am going to be on the lookout for good deals on some good rib knit. This, if you remember from a couple uh, weekly stitches ago, is that bamboo, uh, I think it was 100% bamboo. It might be bamboo rayon. I think it's bamboo, um, bamboo rib knit from Blackbird fabrics. They, I think, have stocked this in more colors. It feels wonderful. It's super soft. And I have been breaking my rule of not to wear something until I've photographed it because I've been wearing these nonstop. They're so comfortable and great for summer to just throw on a fun skirt over and you just immediately look put together. I think I'm learning about myself that I like, as much as I love fun and funky prints, I'm more, um, I like to balance that out with solid knits in my wardrobe. So like, I don't typically wear a lot of printed knits. Um, I mean, unless it's a stripe, which is basically a solid, you guys know this. Um, so I'm gonna try to be more conscious of that going forward with my fabric purchasing in that I am more likely to wear a knit whenever it's solid because typically I am pairing a knit with some kind of like bright skirt or layering it under or over a fun dress or something like that. So I think I'm going to consider knits to be like the grounding element in my wardrobe from now on. And kind of discovering this recently in the past like couple months has really been one of those eye openers for me. And I love it whenever um, things like that happen when we kind of a light bulb moment about ourselves and our personal style and we can use that moving forward to be more conscious in our making purchases and our fabric purchases and our clothing purchases if you're someone who's still purchasing clothing as well. So I feel the same way I feel about this discovery when I realized I don't like the color brown. <laughs> It's just like, oh, wow. So anyways, this is the Kila Tank by Ali Olson Patterns, formerly known as um, Indie Sew. And again, a rib fitted rib tank, super comfy, perfect arm size. I didn't have to lower it or anything. Uh, this fabric is so soft. The pattern is very simple. I constructed this all with my serger. I'm not going to go into too much detail because uh, I will of course have it. These will have their own video. Um, I will say that I when I ordered this fabric I think I just ordered a half a meter and I was like oh I'll squeeze it but I wasn't thinking about the fact that the rib has to go a certain way. The stretch has to go a certain way. So they are a little shorter than what they would have been, which is fine because the pattern's drafted for someone five, six or over. Um, and I just left the bottom raw. Hashtag Rebel Sewist, anybody? Um, because I, A, didn't feel like hemming it, and B, in this rib I got a nice clean cut it almost looks like it's like sealed or something and I it's it's not gonna unravel I've already washed it so um I think it's gonna be fine I honestly will probably going forward just leave all of them raw uh, <laughs> usually these will be tucked in um, so I think it'll be fine I did have to do some creative piecing together with the um, neck bands and the arm bands which on this one unfortunately one of the seams ended up right in the middle front I don't think it's that noticeable um, but it is something I'm going to try to pay better attention to 
next time. Although next time I'll probably like order the appropriate amount of fabric. <laughs> Anyways, Kila tanks, love, love, love them. You guys, I have started knitting and I'm so excited about it. Um, knitting is something that I always said that I wasn't going to do until I was an old lady because I don't have time for any more hobbies right now and I just, I didn't want to, I didn't want to feel like the pull of something else with my attention and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do that when I'm an old lady and I'm just like sitting around. Um, but I have been super inspired, as you probably have too if you follow her, by my dear friend Victoria. Uh, you should check out her channel if you don't subscribe to her already. Victoria Lucille Ann. She knits the most beautiful sweaters and cardigans and she has the best style and just picks the best colors and the best patterns and makes it look so easy and fun. And I always see her coming out with these knitted sweaters and I'm like, man, I really want that sweater. And this past winter, I've been thinking to myself, like going through my wardrobe that I need more cozy knit things, both like knit and knit fabric like things. And this winter, I wasn't thinking about knitting at all. Um, but then, you know, Corona happened. We have, I don't necessarily have more time on my hands. I just have more things that I'm thinking about. Banjo, you can't come up here. Um, if that makes sense. And I've been making tons and tons and tons of masks. I um, am wor I'm working with a friend who kind of like whipped up this mask company. Long story. Anyways, he's sending me pre-cut pieces in bulks of like a thousand. So I'm just sewing, 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 constantly masks. So when I have a day when I don't have to sew masks, I don't really necessarily feel like sitting down at my sewing machine and I've just been craving something new and different to do and I finished my Harry Potter embroidery from Lark Rising um, which I will put a picture of here of course links to everything I mentioned will be in the comments below and I had to make a Walmart run and I looked at the knitting section and I was like you know what I'm just going to get some yarn and just play around and see. So I got some yarn, I got the appropriate needles, and I started looking at knitting sweater patterns, and I'm like excited and hooked. I have not knitted a single thing yet, except for a square that's like this big. <laughs> but I'm so excited, and I've picked a free pattern from Wool in the Gang to be my first um, knit pattern my my first project because I know if I just am sewing a long scarf like a big long rectangle I'm not gonna stick with it that's just gonna be boring to me like it has to be something that I can like wear wear um, it's called the Wonder Wool sweater I chose this based on the yarn that was available to me the yarn that I got <clears throat> this is no nothing fancy this is my first project it's just a acrylic yarn um, Lion brand. You can find this at any Walmart. And I ordered the appropriate needles that the pattern says. And look how big these are. <laughs> it's going to be such a chunky, fun sweater. And I'm so excited about it. I'm going to get started tonight. These came in today. Um, there is another size needle ne needed for this pattern. But um, I can start with these because these these are the first uh, needles. So my husband is going to think I'm crazy whenever he sees these. Um, <laughs> but yes, I'm knitting. So if you have any recommendations, I've already have my eye on a lot of really fun um, patterns and um, out there. But if you have any recommendations for great um, affordable natural fiber yarn or... Um, your favorite knitting patterns, free, paid, whatever, let me know in the comments below if you have any advice. Let me know. I'll be posting about this on Instagram, my progress, so um, hit me up over there. And yeah, I guess welcome to the knitting world, me. <laughs> 
Aside from knitting, I've been making a bunch of progress on my new pattern. Um, this week I am going to be making the final edits based on um, my fit samples on both me and my um, size 26 uh, fit model that I have my friend here in town that helps me um, that models for me. You saw her model my patty pocket skirt and my knitted trousers. And I will be hopefully doing those final edits hopefully today and then tomorrow I'm going to start laying out the tiling for the print file and next week I'm hoping on starting on the instructions which is always a big undertaking um, but it's you know it's part of the process and I'm hoping 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 to test this in June um, we'll see I also just started testing this week for my new uh, the new size range for the Roxy trio which is very very exciting and I have redrafted the Chrissa top for the new the Chrissa crop for the new size range um, but and I have fit tested that and I just need to update the pattern packet before I can start uh, testing for that. So I'll probably test for that in June as well. Um, that's what's going on with my new patterns. I am really hoping to get this pattern out in July. Fingers crossed. Um, obviously it depends on what's going on with the world, with work, with masks, all that kind of stuff. Last week we had our, or last week, this past weekend we had our reveal weekend for Restyling at Home 2020 and it went so well. There were so many amazing transformations. Be sure to check out the hashtag Restyling at Home 2020 on Instagram if you did not follow it. Give everybody some love. Pilar and I will hopefully be picking out our faves, um, which is something that we like to do just for a little added bit of competition and fun. Um, and we will be posting about those later this week, possibly next week. There's still a few rolling in a little bit late, which is totally fine. So go ahead and check those out. If you participated, thank you so much for joining us. It really means a lot to uh, Pilar and I that everyone was able to sort of keep the spirit of the Restyling Exchange alive this year, even though we weren't actually exchanging anything. In non-sewing news, I just refilled my hummingbird feeder that I have sitting outside this window for the first time this year and I already saw I've already gotten multiple visits from a little hummingbird friend today so that is always just a joy it's just like it's right in front of my window I don't know if they can sense me here or maybe they don't care but um, and I get a little a little visitor friend as I'm just sitting here sewing all day and I get to say hi um, also, well, I guess this is sewing related. I have been making some progress on my closet case patterns cutting table that I've been working on for the new studio when we move. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my husband and I live out in the country and we've been remodeling a farmhouse for the past three years. Um, but we're getting closer and closer to being ready to move in. So I've been starting to build some of those custom things that I want to be in the new studio so they'll be ready whenever we move in. The cutting table is almost complete. Um, it just needs the top and I'm doing some special things with the top. I've got to, gonna have a whole video of just my process with making the table and all of that for you guys. So I won't go into too much detail. I just have to finish the top. And I'm also um, sort of figuring out how I want to do the ironing board because I want to have a ironing board that flips up and down off the side of the table. So that is something that my husband and I have been sorting out recently. He's been very helpful and um, hopefully I can get that figured out. I might try to finish that in the next couple of weeks. We'll see. We have so much other stuff going on because we've just started sort of moving forward again on the house after taking a little bit of a break whenever everything was so uncertain. So my cutting table is not very high on the mutual to-do list. It's high on my to-do list, but 
Um, it's not very high on the priority list for getting in the house, which is the most important thing. So um, that is what's going on with that. Uh, lastly, I have a weekly crush for you. I have a new, well, I don't know how new they are. New to me, I've discovered another um, eco-friendly fabric resource for y'all. Uh, if you remember last year, I did a blog post all about my favorite sustainable fabric resources. I have been updating that regularly. So if you are going to shop for fabric and you're not really sure where to find um, sustainable options, check out that post. I will link it below. And um, I, since posting that, I've either discovered new people or people have reached out to me saying, hey, check out this person, or hey, check out my shop. So if you check it out and there's someone on there that I've missed, um, be sure to let me know. But I just discovered this week a shop called icfabric.com. Is it IC Fabrics or IC Fabric? I don't remember. One of those. Um, I'll link it below, obviously. And they sell um, GOTS certified um, organic knit. I, from what I can tell, it's mostly knits, which is great because um, I feel like sustainable knits are harder to find. So they had some great rib knits, some great French terry, some great waffle knit, um, lots of great selection over there, beautiful colors. Um, I might look at it for some more Kila tanks. I'm not buying fabric right now, but I'm just going to go look just to see. Um, so be sure to check them out there, my weekly crush this week, um, and I will add them to that blog post all about sustainable fabrics, which will of course be linked below with everything else. I feel like I say that 10 times in a video. I'll link it below. I'll link it below. You guys know where to find it. If you're new here, I would love it if you subscribe so you don't miss any episodes of the Weekly Stitch or any of my makes videos. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that bell so you get all the notifications every week when I post a video so you don't miss it. And happy sewing, everyone, and stay safe. Three. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Weekly Stitch. Of course. Um, if you, like I said, did I say this already?